Hello, it is I, Alien Fae Prince, and yes, I am no longer using the name Tonight Empire Hero as I felt I have grown out of it and felt it was time for a name change. Yes, it is more to a somewhat more cringy name. No, I don't give a shit. Because it's funny. Um, and I feel it like represents like the alien fairy vibes that I am sometimes. It, in, as a general thing, cause haha, funny, I don't know. Uh, that's the short, simple version of the the username change. So yeah, hello, Alien Fae Prince here, and I'm going to be talking about something that's been eating me for, for months. This is not going to be scripted. I, I did write like some pinpoints and shit, um, but just a heads up. Um, unlike the one I did on the, you know, the wizard game. Um, this isn't scripted. This is gonna be all rambly and shit. Um, because I want this to be, like, raw and blunt as possible. Cause the shit's been eating me for months and I, I just need it out. I just need it out because, um, yeah, I, I, I just need it out. So... This, this rant's gonna be basically on on piracy, why I've been more coming back to pirating shit these days. And why I feel in this modern day and age with how streaming services are, how greedy companies are becoming. Especially with their streaming services and taking shit down or shit potentially becoming lost media and just... Just a multitude of things. Now, for context, um, there was a time I used to do what I can to, you know, buy DVDs of what I enjoy. DVDs or Blu-rays or, or merchandise and all that. And also, like, use streaming services and stuff such as Netflix, Crunchyroll stuff like that um the the ones i still use are crunchyroll disney plus and i probably like leech off like friends like accounts like stan stan being an australian streaming service and um i think amazon prime but um with recent news i heard about amazon prime um that might change um so yeah so it's like like keep in mind for for anyone who's gonna be like um oh you're being selfish you're you're being really selfish you don't you don't care about the things you enjoy um i did there was a time i did and i still do if i have the time if i have the money for fuck's sakes if i have the space in this apartment um, I, I do what I can to buy merchandise of things of, of I, I enjoy. I do what I can to, to get what I can legally. Let, let's use a recent example that I still do what I fucking can. Um, Super Mario RPG for the Switch. Now, um, I'm lucky I have a PC that works well with a Switch emulator. To an extent, it still crashes and shit. Um when like recording footage with it or so I won't be doing like any live streams of it anytime soon but um the uh um I actually pirated um Super Mario RPG first to, to give it to give it a good red hot go give it a try you know see how fun it is and it's a genuinely fun game and yes I know it's a recent modern switch game yada 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 I I know Nintendo fans are gonna be fucking screeching about it, but um, some people I, I believe some people should use piracy as a way of like trying a game before buying it, especially when you don't have like the money, which I'll explain in one of my pinpoints and yeah, I did end up getting the game eventually, Super Mario RPG. I did I did get it on the Switch. I did get a physical copy of it for $64 because I'm not paying $70, $80, $90 for it because video games especially have been becoming more and more expensive. Like $80 to $90 to $100 um, 
uh, Australian dollars, like Australian dollar readers, like that that that's that's way too fucking much. And yeah, um, honestly, like I'm glad I waited till it was like on a Boxing Day sale. I'm happy I got it physically now. Um, but yeah, my point is is that I still do what I can to get. Um, what I enjoy legally when I have the money or when it's on sale. So before people lose their shit at me, please keep that in mind. I still do what I can when I have the money and when it's on sale. Well, when I can, when I get the fucking chance. Um, with, with that out of the way, um, let's get to my defenses with, uh, with piracy. Uh, number one, not everything is accessible, especially overseas. Now, I live in Australia, so... Sure, stuff can be accessible through streaming services, through, through DVDs, through Blu-rays, um, but that's not the case with, like, with everything. Um, like, with certain animes, for an example, like, these days, with, with anime especially, um, they seem to be more focused on, like, the new and current stuff. Like, if I want to find something more old school or something like early 2000s, it's gonna cost, like, an arm and a fucking leg. Or just find it at an op shop or, like, one of those, like, old DVD sales and shit. Um, and it, it's, it's nuts. Now, I know there's discotheque media who do, like, amazing distribution of like a lot of great shows and stuff and, and I love getting getting this shit honestly but my issue is that this shit only works in fucking America and I need to get a region free DVD player but that's a that's a separate bitching moment for another time so um yeah not everything is accessible especially overseas and especially from what I've heard in Brazil with uh, video games um I know when it comes to, to gaming in Brazil, it's a lot of people like pirate stuff there or still get like old retro shit there. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but yeah, that's that's something I heard is a is a thing over there, especially. And and just in general, like not everything is accessible to everyone. Not everyone can easily like get what they can and if they do pirate a thing and they can't afford it or they can't like you know access it for whatever reason um we, we just need to be respectful of that uh number two and this is the main thing that's been pushing me more and more to piracy again um uh, streaming services are becoming more greedy, especially with ads and becoming like cable all over again. Like, at, at, at first with like stuff like Netflix and Crunchyroll and all that, like it was fine. It, it was all good and all that, yada yada yada. Like, like in like the mid 2010s, it, it was fine. Um, but then. But first there was Netflix, then there was Disney Plus, then there was Amazon, then there's Paramount Plus, then there's Stan, then there's this, and there's this, that, and it's like, how do you expect to, like, people to afford, let alone keep up with all that shit, just to access what they enjoy legally? I mean, yeah, you can still get stuff on DVD, or, um, or, like, Google Play or iTunes or whatever, but it's like... Again, how do you expect everyone to keep up with that shit? That, that, it's fucking ridiculous. And streaming services now, especially even when you do fucking pay for it. Even when you do pay all your goddamn money for it. You know what they still do? Even if you fucking pay for it, they still give you fucking ads. What's the fucking point in paying for something? If you're gonna give me fucking ads anyway. That's fucking bullshit. I'm sorry, but that's not okay. Like, you're just asking people to pirate shit at this point. And becoming fucking greedy capitalist pigs. Like, for fuck's sakes, man. 
Like, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I want to watch, um, I don't know, the, the boys, um, without, you know, with, without, like, not dealing with ads and stuff. Like, at this point, you're just becoming fucking cable. Like, the fuck's sakes. Fucking Christ. Like, Jesus. It's, it's so stupid. Like, wh what's the fucking point in paying for these streaming services if you're just gonna have fucking ads anyway? That's, that's not fair. That's not fucking okay. And, um, I even have, have a recent frustration with Crunchyroll lately. And I used to be the biggest defender of Crunchyroll. These days, yeah, I still pay for it to watch anime and shit and for a few of my friends to watch stuff on there. But oh boy, I, I'm slowly starting to get on the fucking Crunchyroll hate train, especially with the fucking expo in Australia that I went to. But that's a separate topic for another day. Um, so, um, one of the uh, issues I had with Crunchyroll is, um, for context, I share my account with like two or three people who are friends of mine. And I tried like to watch something on um on my PC or my PS5, and it said, "Oh, because of other people using, y you have to remove like certain devices and shit." And I thought I could fix it, and but apparently no, you have to pay fucking extra in order to have extra devices used. So I was just like, you know, just to avoid conflict with my friends and all that, I'm just like, fuck it, guess I'm paying extra just so I can still watch shit and so my friends can still watch shit. I didn't have to do that. I know I didn't have to do that, but you know what? Um, I did anyway. Because fuck you, Crunchyroll. <laughs> so, that's annoying. It's annoying that the only way to fix something means I had to pay fucking extra, which is part of the reason I had to end up cancelling Netflix. Which gets me to my next point on why, um, I'm more defending piracy these days. The cost of living crisis and things getting harder for people. It is, in this modern day and age, shit is getting more and more expensive. Groceries, getting essentials is costing so much fucking money. And people don't have the time, let alone the fucking money, to get what they enjoy anymore. I especially can't get what I want anymore as much as I used to and it really fucking sucks it's it's you know like just living just existing just paying the fucking bills and all that like it's becoming way more hard for people so I'm sorry if sometimes they need a little treat to themselves to like watch like their favorite movie or something or TV show or whatever through like through like pirating and shit and like even those like illegal streaming services I used to bitch about because of like fucking pop-up ads and like buffering issues and shit have been improving a lot better these days which which is good because again two of my main issues with those type of places is pop-up ads and buffering issues but it's not as bad as it as it used to be um so yeah um sure yeah you can if you still want to support what you enjoy you know obviously um obviously save up whatever money you can you know make you know or pocket money or whatever save up slowly and you know Slowly put money away for a rainy day, maybe save up to get like a, a the Barbie movie on Blu-ray or something, a little treat yourself or something. Get yourself a little like I don't know, like Fuck, I can't think of another example, sorry. Um it, it's and it's like you know, there, there are also other ways people can show support for what they love, like not just, you know, streaming services or getting like a Blu-ray or DVD or whatever, like they, they can show it through like, 
like cosplay or through like buying merchandise or in the case of music like yeah maybe they pirated the music but hey they went to the concert <laughs> like hello <laughs> i'm just fucking saying like th there are other ways to show support for what you enjoy and stuff so i i guess technically you're also getting like cute fan art of what you enjoy can count as well no, no, like not only it helps supports like local artists but also like yeah. Now, obviously, me ranting and rambling about the piracy stuff, um, I also want to make another point that I understand that yes, piracy is harmful, especially to like indie developers and people who make indie films and stuff, and so I do understand why piracy can be harmful to the creators of what they enjoy, they might not make a lot, lot of money because of it, yada yada yada, all that shit. So this isn't aim this rant isn't aimed at like indie developers of games, music, or movies. This is aimed more at like fucking mainstream normie shit. You know. I'm I'm not talking I'm not talking like the little local your your, your little local mum and dad shop or your or your little little local band that you see at a pub or something. This is not aimed at those people. This is more aimed at the uh, more normy mainstream shit and greedy, big fucking capitalist, selfish, greedy companies that are being pieces of shit and making things harder and harder for people. That's what this rant's more aimed at, so. So yeah, I, I just wanted that all off my chest and I really want people to understand that I did try to do what I can to support what I can. I still do, um, but I'm at a point where, number one, in my apartment especially, I can't fit any more Blu-ray or DVDs in the apartment, and I'm, and I'm like, well shit, I might as well just use like a fucking media server or something, or just get shit on hard drives. Me media servers like Plex and Jellyfin especially have been like really fucking awesome. I highly recommend looking into shit like that because it's so fucking good. Um, but also like, again, shit's just getting more expensive. Not not just for me specifically. Like this, this isn't about me, but for like, for everyone. Um, just shit's getting more expensive. And if people are pirating, even like modern Nintendo Switch games or even just retro games or just just anything really like you know just just please understand you know please be kind you know um i i'd argue that that us fellow pirates enjoy our media just as much as you know the ones that are that buy everything when they can and yeah, so obviously I still do what I can to um, pirate, uh, not pirate, uh, I still do what I can to buy and enjoy what I enjoy, you know, like maybe get a game off Steam or that's on sale or, you know, maybe get my, uh, get like, I don't know, get like a something from Discotech, Discotech Media or or an old Madman Entertainment DVD. God, I miss Madman and when they were like the king of anime stuff so much until Crunchyroll took over. <laughs> um, so I still do what I can. I just can't as much as I used to and it fucking sucks and it doesn't suck. It, it, it sucks not just for me but ju just for people in general and if i'm gonna be get called like a selfish fucking selfish fucking rat for it you know what so fucking be it i i, I don't give a shit anymore if i get called selfish for for my current opinions on this whole thing whether or not it changes is up to um, greedy fucking companies who don't want to be pieces of shit, especially like taking down stuff like Infinity Train and making it lost media. 
D don't get me fucking started on how like stuff is how um companies are now going more to um not just not physical media anymore like i'm worried physical media especially is dying and it fucking sucks it, it's just really frustrating so like to, to, to end this rant um if you still do want to support what you enjoy uh, do what you can save up a little bit but honestly the best way to do it is not streaming services i do not recommend streaming services anymore if you really enjoy like a certain tv show or an anime please get it physically please get a physical blu-ray or dvd if you can if you have the money or if you have the time if not like even just get merchandise especially from like local artists um otherwise you know what you you do you i guess just just do what you can and and take care of yourself like especially with the cost of living being more and more harder for people and yeah um so yeah just uh of course still do what you can to support what you love if you can um but if you can't well that that's okay too that's perfectly okay and you know people aren't selfish for for doing what they can so that's pretty much it i just really wanted this off my chest because this has been fucking pissing me off for, for for months um thank you for listening um if you want to have a, dis a civil discussion in the comments i'm i'm happy to do that whether you agree or disagree i'm happy to have a civil discussion in the comments if there was anything i said that was that was wrong um uh, you, you, you're welcome to feel that way um i the only thing i will say is that if i get called selfish for all the shit i've been saying um for personal reasons that's probably going to be the only thing that bothers the shit out of me um but other than that um, i'm happy to to disagree i'm happy to debate in the comments whatever and uh yeah uh uh, later, my dudes. Uh, take care of yourselves. Whether you're on the pirate ship or, or not. Later, my dudes.